So I literally was supposed to start filming this video about 40 minutes ago, but then like I just got lost in the TikTok world. I'm 40 minutes late to record. That's that's what we got from that. Hey everyone, what's up? It's Amanda and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amanda and I make lifestyle content. So if you're interested in skincare videos, vlogs, university content, things as such, then this channel is for you and I hope you stick around. Today's video is a long-awaited video. If you know, Sephora had their spring sale about three weeks ago and I finally got all my products in and I'm super excited to show you guys what I got and yes, I'm super excited to also use them. I have not used them yet. Like I took some of them out of their packaging just to like smell it and see. So let's begin. The first thing I got was something because TikTok has been talking about it a lot and I actually had the mini sample one once that I got in a PR box but I don't know where it went so I needed to buy the bigger one. So this is the Laneige Sleeping Care Lip Sleeping Mask and it's for all skin types. Wake up to baby soft lips. This nourishing overnight lip mask is enriched with a very mixed co complex to leave lips soft and smooth. So you're supposed to put it on right before you go to sleep and there's a cap on top and it smells so good. And I'm so excited to use it. And then it comes with a little thing that like, you use it to apply on your lips. So I am super excited to start using this. And I'm sure it will meet, like match the hype that's around it. The next thing I got is a Sephora Glycolic Acid Overnight Glow Mask. And it's made to glow and smooth your skin. And there's 93% ingredients from natural origin. So it's made to leave a smoother sense not a smoother sense like a smoother feel to your skin and you're supposed to wear it overnight so you wear it overnight and it's made in france so when you open the box it comes in this jar and when we open it there's a flap on top it smells cute and it's a little jelly so we shall see what that ends up like super excited to use that the next we have something that i'm a little bit disappointed in i got a tarte creaseless concealer i got the small size i knew it was gonna be small but i didn't expect it to be this small like it's literally the size of my pinky so i'm a little bit disappointed in that but i guess we'll see how it works i mean i feel like it's not going to be, I'm not going to get much use out of it, so I'm a little bit disappointed with that for the price that you're paying for it. But I mean, the packaging is cute, so that's a win. The next thing I've got is a Youth to the People Superfood Cleanser. It's a face wash, and it's made with kale, green tea, spinach, vitamins. And it says, this nutrient-rich gel is loaded with cold-pressed superfood extracts from kale and spinach to affect to effectively cleanse skin, remove buildup and pores, and balance pH without drying. I have really dry skin, so I'm hoping this will help me. And I heard Youth to the People is really good. So this is the bottle I got. I believe I got the mini size because I want to try it out because I don't want to buy and like splurge on the big products if I don't know if it works for me. So this is what I got. The Kale Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser from Youth to the People. And it says to use it one to two times a day. So my plan is to use it, since I did get the smaller one, I want to use it at night because that's when I do like a more in-depth um, skincare routine. Then I got a Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask. I have their overnight avocado mask, which is really good, so I want to try a charcoal one. So this is a use once a week or as often as needed. Opens pores with warm, moist towel and layer on, allow to dry or rinse well. So yeah, it helps with clean your pores. So I'm excited to see this and how it works out. Then I got a Glam Glow Gravity Mud Firming Treatment Mask. So this one says to use twice a week and it peels off so it's a peeling mask. I'm excited to use this. It smells really good so that's great. I like to have things on my face that smell good. Um, so this is the Glam Glow Gravity Mud Firming Treatment Mask and I've heard a lot of good things about Glam Glow. They've recently like popped off popped off, popped up. I don't really know what the term is, but I've heard a lot of good things about them, so I'm really excited to be able to try one of their masks. 
massive. <laughs> then I got the Sephora Plumping Lip Gloss. So it is made to kind of give your lips a little bit of a plump, but also a bit of a shine. I read a lot of good reviews about this before I bought it. So I'm super excited to try that. It's small, so you can put it in your purse or your bag or your pocket. So I'm excited to try that on. Then this one, I kind of took it out of the packaging already to look at it. <laughs> I'll be honest, it's another TikTok buy. So this is the Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. And I saw people post this on TikTok and I wanted it. So it's a sleeping mask. So you can either put it on right before you go to bed and wash it off or you can leave it on overnight. I prefer to leave masks on overnight because it does so much more work in my opinion. But that's just what's better for my skin. And I saw this trending on TikTok so I was like, I want to get it. And it smells like those watermelon freezies if you know what i'm talking about those were like my favorites and this is like literally what it smells like so i'm super excited to try this and i'm also excited to see what it does to my skin but i'm also excited to have a watermelon smell on my face if you know what i mean so this is the watermelon glow mask so super excited about that then i got one sheet mask i'm not like the biggest fan of sheet masks i feel like they don't like fit on my face properly but that can also just be my face but i got this one from tatcha it's the luminous dewy skin mask it's only one so they're kind of expensive for one but you know what sometimes you gotta suffer to get good skin you know so this one is a blend of lightweight rice germ oil derived from the most nutrient rich portion of rice and a high concentration of botanical oils and extracts leave skin velvety smooth dewy and luminous this delicate microfiber sheet intensely drenches skin with 20 milliliters of hydrating serum and the mask feeds skin with our signature trio of Japanese anti-aging superfoods, green tea, rice, and algae to help restore skin's youthful radiance. So basically this mask is to help with your skin, obviously, to give it like more of a silky, dewy look and it works on normal and dry skin. So excited to try that because I've never actually tried a Tatcha product before so I thought it would be good to try with the mask. My camera died halfway so I don't know if it's in the same exact position as it was but I really am crossing my fingers that it is. So almost done but basically the next thing I got was this vegan Kat Von D palette and it says Kat's brightest ever vegan shades. Big misconception that vegan makeup can't be high performance and Kat, and Kat Von D is here to change that. We love animals just as much as we love makeup, which is why we never stop pushing the boundaries to create the most perfect products imaginable. So this is the palette. And what's cute is the mirror is a little heart. So that's lovely. The names of the shades are also really nice. There's compassion, liberation, activist, earthling, empathy, sentient, sanctuary, mercy, species, and equality. So those are really cute. I think I'm most excited to experiment with the yellow and green colors. They just look really nice. So I'm excited to use that. Something that I enjoy about this palette, it says that for every palette sold, 20% of the retail price will go to Mercy for Animals, an international nonprofit organization dedicated to preventing cruelty to animals. So I love that. And it makes me feel good that I'm helping the cause. You know what I mean? And the last product I got is something that I've seen on TikTok and on Instagram a lot. It's a Summer Friday mask. And I'm actually quite impressed by the size of it. I thought it would be a lot smaller, but it is a lot bigger than I imagined. So I'm happy about that. And basically it says the busiest overachievers in the game, your skin cells. They work over time shedding and renewing themselves, but sometimes like your desktop, your complexion can get a little cluttered. Perfect for dull or congested skin. This clarifying mask uses vitamin packed pumpkin and exfoliating apricot seed powder to gently polish away dead skin cells for a luminous effect. So I'm really excited to use this because I've had a lot of dry skin recently, which is really, really annoying. Um, it was a little bit expensive, like on the pricier side, but at the same time, I've heard such good reviews about it that I wanted to try it for myself. So that is the Summer Friday mask and I'm excited to use this and I like the color. This beige color is really cute. Basically, that is the end of this haul. I'm super excited to try all these products out and see if they work for me or not. If you guys have any suggestions of different makeup, different skincare, things that I should get, not only from Sephora, but from like literally anywhere, please let me know because I'm always open to trying new things and seeing what works with my skin best. So please comment them down below if you have any suggestions. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to me below. And I will see you next time. And remember, live life, don't think twice, I'm out of here.